how you wear your skin like iron, your breasts as hard as kerosene. Weren't your mama's only boy, but her favorite one it seemed. She began to cry when you said goodbye and sank into your dreams. Poncho was a baby. Hey guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am <laughs> sitting here waiting for the movers to get stuff done and, uh, you know, we're not going to be out of this house for a while. And, uh, anyway, if you hear a dog barking, that's Buford and I'm going to kill him if he does it again. Okay. I'm serious. He's been barking on and off all day. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, stuff I heard about Solo, a Star Wars story, and... Uh, this story that came out, uh, Mike Zero's got the video up. I won't like it. You know who he is. Go find it. Uh, it's about Kennedy changing Han from the way Lord Miller had him to uh, a little bit darker, more serious portrayal, and uh, which it should have been anyway. Uh, and uh, actually getting the CGI guys at Lucasfilm involved changing all the Aaron Reich to look a little bit more like Harrison Ford. Just, I want you just to dwell on that. I want you just to, you know, think about that. Yeah, the thing you're hearing panting right now is my dog. You be quiet. I'm serious. Don't you dare start barking again. Anyway, uh, um, I, it just, to me, it's just fascinating. I'm, I'm literally kind of, here he is right here. See, here's Buford. See? Hey, baby, say hi to me. Say hi. Yeah, his breath is stinky. <laughs> um, but really, this is this this goes to her, goes to Kathleen Kennedy's uh, inability um, to make a good decision. First off, Lord Miller never should have been allowed to be uh, to play uh, a role in in directing any Star Wars movie. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, they were a terrible choice and, uh, it just, you know, it was just a dumb idea to have them on there. Second of all, all Nairik, the casting of him, we've all, we've talked about this ad nauseum. I mean, here and other places. Who in their right mind thinks that he could have ever played Han Solo? This is a, this, a, this is a movie we didn't want. B, she, Kathleen Kennedy and the powers that be at, at, at Lucasfilm went about this the whole wrong way. And, you know, you'll, you go to the trailer. They've had 10,000, 10 million hits. Infinity Wars has, has had, I think, over 100 million hits. Deadpool's had over 30 million hits. Uh, this is, there's no one's, very, very few people really are interested in Solo, a Star Wars story. And I think the reason why is because every bad decision that she made is now public. I feel sorry for Ron Howard. He should have been brought in right away. Alnairn Reich never should have been allowed to even dare go near the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the, you know, the part we all know now was supposed to go to Anthony Ingruber anyway. And he was perfect for it. He was absolutely perfect for it. And we find out she's doing a, a interpretive kabuki dance right, right now or right after she fires Lord Miller trying to save Aaron Reich's job because I bet you $1,000 they wanted to fire him too. Which I would, wouldn't have cried a bit over that. All right? So, anyway, that's going on. And I, with all this stuff going on with Mark Hamill, um, you know, saying he's not interested in the next movie and then bringing back Yoda and it just feeling like, I mean, you know, J.J. Abrams pushing back filming of, of episode nine, two months. I just, it, it, he's retconning the shit out of it. And I want you to rem remember when he said, uh, back last summer, he loved the script. He wished, uh, for the last Jedi and he wished he would, he'd been directing it. You can take that now for one of two ways. All right. Cause I'm, I'm, 
now convinced he's really pissed off at Ryan Johnson. Um, I really liked the script. I wish I had been directing it. You can take it either enthusiastically or the way I said it, which is sarcastically. And I think after the way Mark Hamill's been kind of basically calling down the thunder, you know, the ringleader of this new back, this new, this new, um, a, a tempo of backlash that's going on, uh, and the, and the, and the fire starter of all this, I think there might be a really, really big civil war going on at Lucasfilm. So I just wanted to, wanted to, to remind you guys, oh, and one more thing about the solo thing. If you go see the solo trailer, because I only saw it, uh, SC Reviews had it. So that's where I saw it. I'm not going to give them a hit. Um, there's a scene <laughs> where Al Reich is talking to Amelia Clark. He looks like he has somebody else's body. He looks tall, lean, and lanky, like Harrison Ford. He's not. So, and I thought when I first saw it, well, there he, here he comes back. My dog. Oh, it just, I had to say something here. But I, when I first saw that scene, um, I thought he was either, Aaron Reich was either standing in a box or Amelia Clark was standing in a, a ditch or a pit. Now I'm convinced that they CGI'd that to make him look tall, lean, and lanky like Harrison Ford. It don't do it for me, especially when every time he opens up his mouth, he sounds like a teenage boy in the midst of his voice changing. You know, once he sounds like this, and once he sounds like this, <laughs> God help us. Anyway, so this is stuff just musing while I'm waiting for the movers to get done. <sighs> Setting off. See you on the galaxy.